Hey guys, this is Jaded Heart, and I'm fixing to show you how to how to make a candle wick out of shoestrings. Just you know, shoestrings, because I'm a broke bitch and I do not cannot afford damn candle wicks. So here goes. Let me turn this damn iPhone around. I guess I'm gonna have to do it this way. Um, first of all, we're going to need our ingredients, which I have here. It's the shoestring. We have a bowl, because you're going to need a mixing bowl. And we have the water, the table salt, and the borax. You can find all of these at the store. Pretty cheap. The borax is about $4.00. Table salt, two, three, something like that. I don't know. I don't really buy a lot of salt. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the shoestring and the scissors. I'm going to cut the ends off of the shoestrings, the little plastic ends. After that's complete, you have your string without the plastic things. All right, I'm going to set it in this bowl. And that's when I'm going to add the water to my mixture till it's about covered all the way up. I don't know how much that is, but I'm sure it's about two cups. All right, now I'm going to take the table salt. I have some rice in my table salt. One of my old tricks. We get as much table salt. I'm pretty sure the rice won't hurt it. We're going to try this. Because for some reason, everyone swears against rice and dry and salt out, which it does. It makes the salt not clop up. Alright, so I'm going to add my two tablespoons of salt. When I'm done with that mixture, I'm going to take my borax. And I'm also going to get about two tablespoons of the borax. I apologize for my bad camera skills because if I knew how to work this iPhone right, this would not happen. <laughs> I'm making a mess. <laughs> Alright, there's one tablespoon of the borax. Now it's time for two. Alright, set that into the bowl. You want to make sure that it is all submerged, mixed around, dissolved fully, and I believe it says to leave this all night or for 24 hours. You just want to make sure that the string absorbs all the borax and the table salt as you're making this project. And if it looks like this, then you've done a good job. Um, this is just the first part of my video. I will be back to do part, probably about three parts, because I'm going to need to, number one, I'm going to need to actually melt the wax, and I will do a video of that, and I will actually be back to show you what this process looks like for part two because I know you got to hang it up and dry it out which is what I'm going to talk about when that gets done soaking you are going to actually pull it out hang it up if you got a clothespin or a hairpin whatever you got because you know economy's bad now but just hang it up make sure it hardens and it dries and then when you're done with that I will be back for the part two video which I'll show you how to melt the wax around the string then you'll also have to pull it up and let it dry out too. I don't know if this is going to work because I've never used a shoestring. Personally I use twine but for some reason I'm out of twine economy but I'll be back for a part two and a part three. Alright y'all have a good day.